my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 23. Jesus is reason. John 20. Mary was sad because the people killed Jesus. Mary wants Jesus to Jesus took. His took was sealed by the people with the large stone. But the large stone was gone. Mary told the disciple, somebody took Jesus. The disciple went to look into the tomb, but Jesus was not there. <coughs> someone took Jesus, said Mary. Mary cried after the disciple left. She looked into the tomb. She saw two angels with white gown. The angel asked Mary, Why are you crying? Mary looked back saying, Jesus is not here. Then she saw someone was sitting there. Why are you crying? Are you looking for someone? Asked the man. Someone took Jesus, said Mary. Mary called the man. Mary was surprised. Mary couldn't believe it. Mary was standing in front of... Jesus was standing in front of Mary. Jesus! Mary was so happy. Jesus was alive. I can't stay here with you, said Jesus. I have to go to my house in heaven. Now Mary could see Jesus as the Son of God. Jesus said to Mary, Go to the go and tell the disciples that I will wait for them in Galilee. Twenty four chapter twenty four chapter Tell the people about Jesus. Acts 1 to 8. Jesus said to the disciples when he met them in Galilee, Go to the world and tell the whole world what I have done for you. After saying this, Jesus went up to heaven. The disciple watched him for a long time. Angel said to the disciple, Jesus will come back. The same way you saw him go. Remember that Jesus said and preached the good news. The disciple got to know that Jesus was the Son of God. Jesus died on the cross. Jesus was raised and went to heaven. That he promised to come back. Only the Son of can do this. The disciple knew that only Jesus could take them to God. The disciple went everywhere. They went here and there. They told the people about Jesus. They told who killed Jesus tried to kill them too. The disciple told people about Jesus bravely. People went to hear about Jesus more. They wanted to know the way to go to God. Some people didn't like the disciples teaching. They tried to put them into jail. But the disciples were happy because many people began to believe Jesus. They told more about Jesus. 25 chapter, Pilate and Ethiopian, Acts 8. Leave this village, said an angel to Pilate. Go and go to the place where I tell you. Pilate went to the place the angel told him about. It was on the way to Jerusalem. It was wild fail. There's no one here. How can I preach God's message? said Philip. Suddenly that when then Philip saw a man coming. He was an Egyptian. He was a high officer. 
of a call. He was reading the words of God. Do you understand what are their meaning? Asked Philip. No, I can't understand. I need help. Can you help me? Said the Egyptian. I will help you. God sent me here for you. Said Philip. Philip told him the good news about God and Jesus. I want to live as Jesus said. Said Egyptian official to Philip. Pilate was excited to understand why God sent him here. The official went to his country and told the people about Jesus. 26th chapter, Jesus is brighter than the sun. Acts 9, Saul hated Jesus. He hated the disciple of Jesus. They hated the people who loved Jesus. Saul thought Jesus was not the Son of God. Saul thought Jesus was dead. Why do we people have to follow the dead? Saul tried very hard to put Jesus' disciple in the jail. One day Saul was going to Damascus. It was a very far, but Saul went to arrest the disciple there. If I put them in jail, they won't follow Jesus anymore. So, pal, something wonderful happened. Then, when he was in near to Damascus, suddenly a bright light flashed around him. It was brighter than the sun. Saul, Saul fell to the ground. Why are you against me, Saul? said someone to Saul. The Saul was coming from the heaven. Who are you? asked Saul. Saul was very scared. He never had a sound from the heaven before. I am Jesus, the one you hate. Follow me, said the sound. Saul knew that Jesus was alive. Saul could also know that Jesus was the Son of God in heaven. It may up his mind to follow Jesus for the rest of his life. 27. Paul and Silas sang in the present. Acts 16. Paul and Silas traveled around the world and preached God the good news. They told people that Jesus was the Son of God. They helped them to love Jesus. But someone didn't like what Paul and Silas was doing. They hated Jesus. They hated the disciple. Put Paul and Silas in the prison, shouted the people. They tried to make us believe Jesus. They are making our city into an opera. They beat them and put them in the prison. The Paul people said, that Paul and Silas couldn't talk about Jesus in the jail. But that night, Paul and Silas sang and prayed in the jail. Other people in jail were listening to their prayer song. Suddenly, the prison was shaking. All the doors of prison were broken and open. The jail was, jailer was afraid. He was afraid that Paul and Silas ran away. He was so scared that he tried to kill himself. Don't kill yourself. We're here. Shouted, the, shouted Paul. The jailer noticed that Paul and Silas was God's man. He noticed that God protected Saul and Silas. I want to know about your God. What should I do? said the jailer. Paul and Silas told their <coughs> jailer, jail, jailer and his family about Jesus. They decided to believe in Jesus and love him. The jailer watched the ones 
of Paul and Silas. They ate together. The jailer and his family were very happy to believe in God. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? The next time I will read another story. Then bye.